everything's exempt. Right. You know, we're we're you know you can't look at this. Stuff. And I think this really goes to show you how dangerous it is. Dangerous it is when you take a public function and you hand it to a private company, and then you just say, "Well, just run with it, and we'll just funnel you money." Right. I mean, it's just an endless supply of money, and you don't really have to show us what's going on over there. I right. mean, that's you know that's a recipe for disaster as far as fraud, waste, and abuse. Right. There's also another issue here, and that was the fees. Yes. And this is right from the report, ladies and gentlemen. In determining fees to charge for providing public records, Team Santa Rosa looked to board policy rather than the law in setting such fees. And this is when they were going to charge you, was it $200? $780-something dollars the first time. And, of course, my response is, I don't believe so. Yes. And uh, then, then Miss Anderson negotiated it down to about three hundred and fifty dollars, and then she negotiated it down to fifty dollars a half hour, and then she had the wisdom to go ahead and hand me what I was looking for. And we should mention that the law also requires um, an agency that's required to provide that, that falls under public records law is supposed to have somebody who's a records custodian who has arranged the records or filed them and organized them in such a way right. that they are quickly and easily accessible when pu right. pu members of the public come in. And, 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 and look, let, let, let's say this. If any organization, any of them in the United States of America, wants to be a pain about mm -hmm. public records request, they can charge 15 cents a copy. Right. But we all know that everything is on a computer these days. Uh, if the custodian of records has organized the files as required by law, yes. it's not a suggestion in the law. Correct. It's required in the law that that records will be kept in an organized manner. Uh, how long does it take to send them to me in an email or put it uh, if it's a larger file to burn it on a on a, a CD for right. me and hand it to me? Um, it, it kind of falls under the category also for those people who want to charge exorbitant sums for things. Uh, actually, in court cases, have stated the only reason to overcharge people is is to break the trail to keep a citizen from getting yes. at the records. I mean, I, I read one case in South Florida where a guy, uh, economic development, he wanted commission. Uh, commission documentation and it, and it part of it slid over into economic development and so he gave him the list of what he wanted to see and his preliminary bill was over seven thousand dollars mm -hmm. and uh, it, is, it is simply a method by which government who is trying to hide something is trying to break the spirit of the citizen or break them financially to keep them from getting out the records and uh, I actually said this one time at a county commission meeting. I'll say it again. If you don't want to be questioned, don't do anything yes. that brings questions. Right. All right. To, that would to, be nice. To, to start out with, every elected official in Santa Rosa County, yay, the state of Florida, yay, the United States of America, you work for me. You work for the citizens whom elected you. Get cut off the attitude and be a public servant. Okay, I feel better, Deborah. I'm glad. Therapeutic. Um, it goes. It goes on to say once again, ladies and gentlemen, directly from the report. Finally, lack of staff contributed to public records being provided on a timely basis. Dear state attorney, let me just tell you how ridiculous that statement is. When I ask for the salaries of the four employees that work over there, are you telling me that a lack of staff keeps them from giving me that information? It, it, is it, it a lack? Took you some time to get that information. Uh, three and a half years. Uh, is it a lack of staff? Is it that difficult? Do they not know what they make? Let's re reiterate. Those numbers were ninety-four thousand. <laughs> 70,000, 72,000, 54,000, and 40,000. Right. Plus a temporary. 
you know, I, I, I mean, we're not talking about the, the things that I inquired about. We're not talking about massive record searches right, here. exactly. How much do you make? Right. What is your benefit package? Yes. Can I see the check register? For goodness sakes, I hope that Team Santa Rosa has a check register. Now, Deborah and I got a copy of two years' worth of check register, and there was holes all over it. There were some it. holes. There were 20-something holes in it. Yeah, m missing we checks. Had, we haven't had them filled yet. Yeah, you, you know, so, I mean, give me a break here. I mean, that, that is uh, the lack of staff. Please. Uh, priority was given to ordinary duties rather than timely response to public records requests. Well, look, let me just say this. They didn't want to give out public records. In some cases, went four years without giving um, yes. public record. Typically, when they did give over a public record, they gave something that I didn't ask for. Typically, they made copies of it when I didn't ask for a copy, when I asked to review a document, to inspect a document. Right. Um, uh, uh, which I have that right. I can go down to the building that I pay for, the air conditioner, the copy machine, uh, the parking lot, and the light bill, and the phones that are in there. I have the right as a citizen to go down there and say, okay, I want to look at the following things. And, and the file should be pulled out laid in front of me or a laptop computer or a desktop computer and said, okay, here's, here's yes. what you want to look at. It's not that hard. It's really not difficult. Since these complaints were first made, Team Santa Rosa has taken steps to improve their response. I'll point out to you that there are still many, 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 many that are out there that they had not filled. Uh, the primary complainant regarding the issue has indicated with the exception of one request, all his public records requests have been compiled with. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to leave you hanging on that one. I am going to tell you that that is not a true statement. It is far from the truth. And you be sure to tune in next week and we'll tell you the rest of the story. I appreciate the thorough review conducted by the state attorneys. I also appreciate the thorough or the thoughtful recommendations made by the state attorney to further strengthen awareness of public records uh, and issues. In that regard, I move without objection that staff immediately prepare a draft policy for the board's review to implement the recommendations of the state attorney's office. It was positive that the state attorney confirmed that Team Santa Rosa is at this time complying with all public records and meeting requirements as our board has also directed. The recruitment of industry and the creation of jobs for our citizens is one of the most important obligations that we have. In order that Santa Rosa County not suffer a competitive disadvantage in industrial recruitment, I strongly urge other economic development organizations in Northwest Florida and the rest of, sta of the state to join Team Santa Rosa and comply with all applicable public records and meeting requirements.